Fume hoods are vented cabinets that protect the user from hazardous powders, vapors, and gases. When used properly, the fume hood not only provides respiratory protection for the user, but can shield the user in the event of an emergency situation such as a fire, explosion, or spill. There are important guidelines to follow in order to use a fume hood safely. First of all, the back baffle of the hood should not be obstructed. The back of the fume hood is where air flows through. Secondly, keep the sash as low as safely possible when working. This will minimize potential exposure to chemicals and protect you in the event of a spill or fire. If a combination sash is installed, do not open the vertical and horizontal sashes simultaneously. Before starting work, you should check the fume hood monitor to ensure that the hood is functioning properly. You should never use a fume hood when it is in alarm mode, and you should never mute or disable the alarm. Instead, call EHS if the alarm is activated. As a general rule, the fume hood should not be open more than 18 inches when you are working and should be kept as low as possible. The fume hood should be closed when unattended. A single standard fume hood open to 18 inches in one year uses about as much energy as it takes to power three homes. Keep the sash closed as often as possible for your safety and the good of the environment. Place materials you're using at least six inches behind the sash to minimize air turbulence, but don't lean too far in to perform work. You should never work with your head inside the hood. Also, do not move your arms quickly inside the hood while you are working. Even people walking by quickly can disrupt the airflow. Keep the hood clean and avoid storing items in the fume hood. Every item in the hood can create turbulence, which can reduce the effectiveness of the hood. Only keep the items necessary for your work in the hood and promptly clean up small spills. As a general rule, paper and other combustible materials should be kept out of the hood to avoid clogging the ventilation system and to minimize potential fire hazards. Large equipment should be raised by about 2 inches to promote airflow below the equipment. This can be achieved using lab jacks or by putting rubber stoppers under the four corners of the equipment. Open bottles of chemicals or chemical waste should not be stored in the hood, and chemicals should not be evaporated in the hood as a method of disposal. Watch this short clip of a student working in the fume hood. Can you identify any unsafe practices in the video? First of all, you should notice that the hood sash is raised all the way up, instead of keeping it within 18 inches. There are paper towels stored in the hood, which is a fire hazard and may decrease hood efficiency due to turbulence. The student is working too close to the edge of the hood and leans in to do her work. To review, remember these guidelines when working in a fume hood. Remember to raise the sash no more than 18 inches for your safety and to conserve energy. Work 6 inches inside of the hood to ensure that you are not exposed to vapors. Avoid clutter in the hood, including chemical bottles. Do not dispose of chemicals, either by evaporation or by pouring down the sinks at the back of the hood. Raise any large equipment that is stored in the hood. EHS is responsible for testing fume hoods on campus annually. If your fume hood has not been tested within the past 12 months, if an alarm has gone off when using the hood, or if you simply suspect that your fume hood is not working properly, discontinue use immediately, close the sash, and contact your supervisor and EHS.